So what's good YouTube? It's your boy Big Red Smooth and I'm back with another video. So this right here, uh, GTA 6 fans are pissed at uh, 2026 of delayed news. So, so this has been circulating and running news for the past like three, four days, I think. Cause like when I saw this bro, like last weekend, man, I was so mad, bro. I told my friends about it, like, like I told my brother about it. I haven't heard anything from Rockstar Games at all, cause like I don't know if this is true or not. I just want to do like a reaction on the channel just for y'all about this, this um GTA 6 delay into uh, 2026, bro. And knowing me personally, y'all, I'm so mad about this, y'all. Like I'm just as mad as y'all. Like I don't know how this even happened. Like. I don't know how this is happening. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, I read some articles on the internet around like a couple days ago about the whole um delay and everything like that. Like it just been crazy, y'all. Like I just hope you guys, man, I really hope you guys are not that mad. Cause I am like mad, like mentally mad about this, man. And I'm just like, why now? You know what I'm saying? Like they could have said this like last year. And I cannot forget. Uh go like, share, and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel only. And please turn on those post notifications if you're gonna see me more on this channel when I upload some more videos like this or any other type of video um you guys want to see on this channel. I just want to just you know um just like get more videos out for y'all man and I really hope you guys enjoy this. Let's go right to it. Grand Theft Auto 6 could be delayed until 2026. We're gonna be talking about that reaction wow. in this video today, but honestly, why this shouldn't be surprising. Crazy, so before we get into some of the reaction oh of this happening, this let me just take you through a history of Rockstar Games and delays. And we'll begin with the Grand Theft Auto series since that's what we're talking Dang. about right now. Wait, wait, Grand wait, Theft wait, Auto. Wait, wait, y'all. Yo, through 1997 to uh, 2013. I mean, like, not like exactly, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, he gonna show us like the the um the main delays about like the games that um you know that they made so far and the main um uh, delays and shit like that. But having these games on this screen right now, I played, bro. I remember playing like uh Max Payne, uh GTA 4, uh Bully, um a Midnight Club of Los Angeles, uh Manhunt 2, um uh, San Andreas um yeah man like you know a red dead i mean come on now like you know what i'm saying i play like every game on this fucking um uh a uh, screen right here you know what i'm saying like, it's crazy how a rock star gonna make these delays as far as like yearly timelines and shit like that like i never knew about this all right i never knew about this at all like this three was me. delayed three oh, God, weeks this, me, this one made big headline news because grand theft auto 3 takes place in new york and it was set to release around the events of 9-11. So Rockstar respectfully delayed the game a couple of weeks, made some changes to that title. It was pushed back three weeks. GTA Vice City was delayed by a week. Same with GTA San Andreas. Nothing major there. It's when we get to the more modern games that you see bigger delays. Grand Theft Auto 4 was delayed six months. It was supposed to come out in 2007. Ended up coming... Bro, 2007? Bro, but the game came out around like 2008. What the hell? Bro, that can't be real. Like, that cannot be real, bro. This is one year. One year, like, after, bro. Like, that. Damn, bro, man. Rockstar, man, you an L for this one. Hey, man. Oh, go top in the comic section, bro. As Rockstar, a W or L for all these, um, game delays bro that they did like over the years like man w or l man i'm you know i don't know what to 2008, say 2008 and grand um, theft auto 5 was delayed six months as well it was supposed to come out spring 2013 ended up coming out september 2013. Crazy. so that's the history in the gta series now let's move on to the red dead redemption series rdr1 was delayed by a month so not that big of a deal Red Dead Redemption 2 was delayed by a year. Remember, that was supposed to come out fall 2017 and ended up coming out October 2018. That has been, as far as the most recent Rockstar games, the biggest delay, but it's certainly not the biggest. Then we jump over to Max Payne. Max Payne 1 and 2, no delay. Max Payne 3 had a delay of two and a half years. Now, there was a lot of issues going on with that game. So this is... Bro, y'all, like... 
know what I'm saying? Because, like, it's crazy how they said it because, because, like, you know, like, you know how many times I beat a Max Payne 3? Bro, that game is so fun. Like, y'all should play that. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I played that game when that first came out, man. I was, like, eight years old at the time, though, when it came out. So, yeah, man, this game is fun. Hey, man, like, that game is so fun. Like, like that game is fun. Like, too fun. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, y'all should play it on oh, God. It's kind of the anomaly and the outlier here. I don't hey. think GTA 6 is going to be met with the same fate where we're looking at, like, 2027, 2028. Oh, my gosh, I think people would go absolutely insane. Some Rockstar game. I mean, no shit. Like, I will go insane, too, because these niggas are pushing the back. Like, they're just pushing it all the way back. You might not oh, be man. totally aware about Manhunt 1 and 2. Manhunt 1 was delayed by a month. Manhunt 2 was delayed by three months, so not terrible. And then L.A. Noir that was delayed by three years. That was super significant. But remember that that wow. was a Rockstar about Games title years. that they really didn't develop Whoa. initially. They sort of jumped on about halfway through. And then Bully received no delay. So excluding a couple of outliers and looking at Rockstar Games' most recent titles, Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5, I think that's really our obvious answer here. If there is going to be any delay, it's going to be one of those two amounts of time. I don't think it's going to be shorter than six months, but I also don't think it's going to be longer than a year. It's going to be sometime in between that. Hopefully, it is not a year where it takes us into 2026, which is where the reported rumors are right now. And hopefully at a minimum, if there is anything, it's only six months, which takes us from early 2025 to late 2025, very similar to what happened with Grand Theft Auto V. And oh, that's so cat, bro. Bro. They lying, bro. They is lying. Bro, late 2025, like, bro, they talking about uh, spring of 2025, not late 2025. Like, I know that much, bro. Bro, it's like just like saying, you know, dropping the game around um a uh, January of uh twenty twenty six. Like that is stupid as hell. Like into my late like twenty twenty plan. That's that's that's, that's So now let's take a look at some of the reaction yeah. from some of the big time players that's and the Grand Theft Auto community. Tom Henderson, the owner of Insider Gaming, he's actually had some leaked GTA six details before. He said, I'm not even sure what to make of the Kotaku article on GTA six. No info is new and just seems to be trying to stir the pot based on Bloomberg's reporting. Spring 2025 is targeted and is suggested via Take-Two Interactive's earnings increase in fiscal year 25. Holiday 2025 is likely, though, based on past releases and Take-Two Interactive's tendency to delay. Also a reason they gave a vague 2025 date on reveal. And then Dang. never say never and a 2026 release is possible, but this just screams covering all bases and creating some online chatter based on previous reporting. And like I said, like just now, you know, they may uh, drop it around like January of, of that next year. You know what I'm saying? 2026, you know, like they may uh, drop it, um, you know, the next uh, following year. I mean, I don't know. I'm saying like that's what I hear, but yeah. It already suggested delay from spring 2025. And honestly, that's kind of what I talked about earlier. It seemed to be piggybacking off of the Bloomberg article we covered a couple of weeks ago that Rockstar Games employees would be returning back to the office as the final push to complete GTA 6 was here. And the one thing we really will have to keep our eye on, and honestly, this is not only when I think we'll figure out when the game truly will be releasing but also when we'll officially get more information from Rockstar, and that is the next earnings call for Take-Two Interactive. And Derek Strickland over at Tweaktown ended up basically saying the same thing, looking into the potential GTA 6 delay news. And here's a quick reminder that both Take-Two Interactive's pipeline and revenue forecasts have not been updated to reflect recent events. Those updates will come in May 2024 when Take-Two Interactive announces its full fiscal year 2024 results. Following up by saying, by recent events, I just mean the general industry trends like layoffs and any specific internal stuff that we don't know about, delays, cancellations, etc. And this prompted many more responses from several reputable members of the GTA community, most notably Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds 2, who ended up chiming in saying this, Frankly, this isn't surprising. I'm not sure why some folks saw Jason Trier's article and focused on the final push of development part. 
while the rest of the article indicated a sign of production falling behind. Some were hoping the game would come out sooner than expected, that the production is actually ahead of schedule, and that the leadership is letting developers work as comfortably as possible, whether in the home. Yo, I mean, I mean, like, I think I know why it's being a delay because, like, of the employees at Rockstar, you know what I'm saying? Like, they talking about, um, uh, the production uh, delays and stuff like that. These Rockstar employees are fully, fully responsible for what they did, all right? Because I feel like, um, you know what I'm saying, the production uh, they was talking about, you know what I'm saying, like, inside the works of a GTA 6. I don't want to wish this on the company at all. I, I really, really don't. I don't want to say, yo, know, it's going to be bad when it come up, but, like, I feel like they lack some type of, like, production in this game. Rockstar employees, like, y'all, y'all, I'm, I don't know. I'm saying, like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. that's why I think about this whole thing right here. But. Or from the office. And that's a really good point. Even though there were some positives that, yes, we are trending towards the final stages of development, it wasn't a positive trend towards the final stage of development. It like I said, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they lacked production. I'm not going to wish that at all, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, like this is what I think. You know, they lack in production. Like, this is bad. It was having to rush everyone back to the office, not confident that the game would be completed on time, and thus here we are talking about delays and possibly being pushed out of its initial released year. So that part is not good, and insider nah. Tez Fonsu said that this all. should not be surprising, and he followed up as he responded to one person who said, I'm not a development expert, but wouldn't this conflict with Jason Trier's article a few weeks ago anyways about final stages of development? How would it go from that to this? LOL. And he said asking, or more like forcing developers back into the office as the game enters the final stage of development, citing security and productivity as the reason behind the decision, isn't a sign that production is going accordingly to plan to be confident of the early 2025 window. And so unfortunately, this just sort of brings more bad news to a game that has been either A- Facts, bro. So facts. So facts. Like- like it's either like they lack in production or, or don't want to do it at all. Cause like they, you know what I'm saying like these Warstorm employees been at home making this game. You know what I'm saying no office, no nothing, bro. Straight at home just making this game for real. Like I feel like they lack in production, bro. You know what I'm saying like they're lacking production. Is shrouded in controversy or B being leaked out the wazoo. And there's so much more reaction that I really didn't get to cover in this video today. But honestly, that's the gist of it. A lot of people that A, aren't surprised about this, or either B, critiquing the Kotaku article for really not providing any more relevant information and just simply having their own speculation that the game could slip out into its release year of 2025 and into 2026. Rockstar is really the only one that knows the answer to this. And we won't really probably hear from them until May 2024. Thankfully, that isn't that long away. Probably about another 30 to 45 days. Typically, Take-Two Interactive held their earnings calls early on in the month. And of course, if any news comes out regarding that, I'll be sure to keep you guys covered. But I understand this is going to be a very passionate and discussion-heavy video. So please let me know in those comments down below what you think is going to happen to Grand Theft Auto 6. Do you think it's still going to come out in early 2025? Do you think it'll slip to late 2025? Or do you think it'll come out in 2026? Boy, I hope not. But let me know what you think oh, in those comments. I hope not, brother. I hope not. Comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Subscribe. I'll see you guys. All right, y'all. So anyway, you know, uh, like Mr. Boss said, they may drop it like around this time next year or late uh, next year or just uh, 2026. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I really hope um, Rockstar Games find their ways of just, you know, just um, uh, updating us about this game. Because like we need more information besides like these third party um gaming uh, companies that's just you know they're telling this news on the internet, you know, like I mean like it's cool and all, but we need uh Rockstar games updates and information besides like these third party companies and stuff like that. Shout out to Mr. Boss and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? He doing this thing, but yeah man.
Thank you for keeping up with these updates, bro. I swear, like, thank you for these updates, man, because we need these. But anyway, y'all, like, I cannot forget a go like, share, and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, please turn on those post notifications if you guys want to see more of these videos just like this or any, like, 2K videos and stuff like that. Or any other gaming videos you want me to do, go drop it down below. Go follow me on everything. Like, it'll be, like, down below in, in the video right there or down below in the main description below. It's be great smooth and I'm out y'all. I love y'all so much. I'm out. Yeah.